London's burger scene has exploded in the last few years with so many options to choose from. For me though, these are the three best spots that I always find myself going back to. All right, so first on the list is Bleaker Burger. So it's it's a very simple burger. I mean, that's what I love about my burgers personally. The buns are beautiful, so soft. The meat cooked well, very cheesy. Bit of onion in the middle. I just got the double. Like when you go there, you could get more. Like they've got their cheesy fries and they've got shakes and that, but I just decided to stick with what I know. And obviously if I'm gonna have three burgers today, I'm gonna be stuffed, so I'm gonna stick with the double. You think? Mm. So, so good. Just look at it, it's oozing. Cheese is lovely. I'm thinking the MVP for this one though, is the bun. It's easy to make a nice good cheeseburger. But the bun, the bun is so, so good. So I've just gone to Spitterfields Market, but they've got at least seven or eight of these places now in London. So it's one you definitely need to add to your list. I'll show you the next two coming up. Okay, next up, we've got Black Bear Burger. So second on the list, it's got like a nice similar bun, but there's a lot more going on in this one. So you've got obviously your beef, your cheese, your bacon, your garlic mayo, and it's like a jam paste style. But as you can see, beautiful burger, beautiful. All right, let's give this a go. It's as good as bleak, obviously, in my opinion, but it, the meat is, I think it's, it's like slightly pink, which makes it beautiful. Yeah, obviously, I think it comes medium rare. And then it's got like that jam paste also. There's a lot more going on in this one. It just depends what you prefer, I guess. I think this one, it's the slight sweetness that goes with it. It's not too sweet where you're like, oh, I don't want sweetness with my burger, but just a little bit. And I think they're famous for how they farm their meat. Uh, they kind of say that they grow it, they, they get it from English farms, etc. So it's obviously taken care of. You can tell the meat quality is really, really top quality. But yeah, mixture is perfect there. It's just cheese, a bit of sauce the meat and a bit of a sweetness and the bacon you can't really go wrong that's that's a pretty top-notch burger there mm. don't know how i'm going to stomach the third one but better give you my top three So, Bergen Beyond, last but not least. So, beautiful crispy bun, beef, cheese, uh, mayo sauce, and there is some cooked onions in it. Another simple burger. It's the smallest out of the lot, but it's, look at it, it's oozing with cheese. Cooked medium, they don't get lower than that, but the beef is oh another level. 
Berg and beyond, you are the real MVP. Kevin Durant, quote, if anyone was wondering. They're all really good, but Berg and beyond is another level. So those are the top three for me. Honestly, there's so many good different options you got there going on. London's burger scene is exploding. Um, and the funny thing is, the whole travel time was 15 minutes walking from burger spot to burger spot to burger spot. So the scene is outrageous right now. So get on it. These three are my top three. Uh, but I can highly recommend some other spots, but which I'll do another time. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you later.